Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my Astro community. And today's video, I'm doing your guys January 2020 predictions. And I'm super excited because so many of you guys have so many exciting things happening to you in your lives in January. Um and I already posted the 2020 predictions for each zodiac sign. So if you guys have not seen that yet, go ahead and go watch that one too. And like always, this video is most accurate for your rising sign. But you can also feel free to watch your moon sign or sun sign if that resonates more with you. Okay, so let's just get into it. Now I'm going to do things a bit differently today. I'm actually going to start with Pisces and end with Aries. I usually just go in order from Aries to Pisces, but today I feel like Pisces should go first. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Pisces. So for you Pisces, the month of January is going to be really prosperous for you. Um, you have five planets in your 11th house in January. And honestly, this is a month for Pisces where things are just paying off for you. It's a month where it's like everything feels like it's going right. I feel like it's almost a month where it feels like a dream for you, where it's like, how is this happening to me? How am I having such good luck? Because ultimately the 11th house is the house of gains. It's the house of hopes, wishes. Um, it's naturally known as a very lucky house in astrology. It is a very prosperous house. So to have all of these planets in your 11th house really represents you're going to be experiencing a lot of the blessings, good fortune that the 11th house does deliver. And specifically for you, I feel like a lot of your good fortune, a lot of your luck comes through other people. 11th house is a very social house as well. Um, it's the house of great groups, friends. Um, so in January, maybe you're making a lot of new connections. Maybe you're in a situation where you're meeting new people um, and not just people that are just superficial or obviously you meet people all the time, right? But in January, you're really meeting like really significant people in your life. Um, like I said, maybe um, new friends that will stay in your life, maybe new contacts, um, maybe new social connections, um, even romance. I feel like Pisces could get into a relationship in January if you aren't already or you can meet someone that is your future partner. So honestly, it is a very social month for you. Also with this social dynamic, why it's so prosperous for you is that you're just recognized more so in social dynamics than you were before, if that makes sense. Because since you have the sun in your 11th house, it's like you're really identifying with those around you and people are just recognizing you for your true authentic value. And I feel like for you, it's gonna be a month where it's like, it's just so easy to communicate with others. It's just like, like I said, there's this energy Energy and I'm getting this vision of doors just opening for you. It's almost like everything goes right for you in January. There's not a lot of roadblocks happening for you. Obviously there are depending on your chart, but the overall energy is just very abundant for you. And then on top of that, Venus is gonna be in your first house. So this is a time where it's like, you're literally gonna be feeling more beautiful. Um, Venus is beauty, first house is your physical body, yourself, your identity. So you just have this boost of self-confidence, self-worth, and other people see that from you. Other people recognize you for your beauty in January. You're you're just gonna be feeling so beautiful so I feel like you're just gonna feel very on top of the world in January and honestly in January another prediction I have and this isn't for everyone but I definitely feel like for a lot of Pisces you're gonna find like your soul family or like your soul um, friend group or something like that or I don't know what the term is comment down below if you guys know what I'm talking about but like your soul group like you're gonna meet people that are literally like soulmates but they can be in the form of a friend or you can join an organization where it's like wow where have these people been all of my life where have um where's this social dynamic been all my life i feel like you're going to be gifted something very great in january something that will really change your life for the better and then mars is in your 10th house too so it's like you're just so visible in january this is a month where it's like you're very visible to the public people like you you're networking you're making friends you're dating it's just a very prosperous month for you and everything is pretty much gonna go right for you um obviously you're gonna have challenges it's life but um just know and keep that in mind that in mind that you do have a very blessed fortunate month in january okay so let's talk about the month of january for aquarius so in the month of January for Aquarius, um, you're going to have five planets in your 12th house. And obviously your 12th house is in Capricorn and January is Cap season. And we're gonna have a lot of planets in Capricorn during that time. So you're really gonna be feeling this energy in your 12th house. So what I see for you Aquarius in January is 
this very spiritual theme. Um, I see a lot of introspection for you. I see you meditating a lot. I see you um, just really reflecting on yourself. Mind you guys, 12th house is the house of isolation. It's the house of spirituality. It's the house of secrets, all things hidden. Um, and as I mentioned in my prediction for Aquarius in 2020, um, you're gonna have a very spiritual year and you're gonna really feel that in January. It's almost like you're starting off your year very spiritual and those themes are just gonna carry on throughout your year. However, specifically in January for you, I feel like you're gonna be um, maybe isolating yourself a bit. Um, like I said, maybe you're just a little bit hidden and I don't feel like it's in a bad way. I just feel like you're just, you just have to work things out within yourself. And I see you doing this through spirituality. I see you, like I said, meditating. Um, it's almost like I see you just like not leaving your house or not really wanting to leave your house um, or not even like wanting to be bothered. I feel like you're just very unbothered in January and you kind of want to focus more on your own spiritual development as an individual um, than interacting with other people. And this is also a great time where I feel like Aquarius are just going to get revelations, like revelation after revelation. Um, you're going to be channeling a lot of like divine information in January. Um, you're going to have very prophetic dreams, um, dreams that tell the future, right? Like this is such a significant month for you because it's almost like you have like almost like a secret pathway to other dimensions, if that makes sense. Um, I know this sounds really out there, but I feel like Aquarius get me on this, where it's like you're just transcending just regular life and you're really active in your dream life. You're active in your spiritual life. You're astral projecting. You're getting psychic downloads. You're getting revelations. All of that's gonna be happening in January for you. And it's gonna be so powerful. I feel like it might scare you a bit, but I feel like it's gonna kind of propel you to that next level spiritually and your spiritual journey is just going it's like you're on this very spiritual track so i will say for aquarius i do see you sort of like cocooning in january like kind of being a cocoon um but in that cocoon you're discovering things you're dreaming a lot you're getting those psychic downloads like i said um you're just really knowing yourself in a way you never really knew yourself before um and like i said there's kind of like this kind of scary insidious undertone too because it is the 12th house and the 12th house is kind of about that um but through that it's almost like you find yourself within that if that makes sense so there's like a lot of spiritual self-discovery happening for you in um january and i really recommend for you guys to get a dream journal write down all your dreams get crystals put them under your pillow um pay attention to your dreams pay attention to those like psychic revelations you might have um anything you hear or like any clairaudience, clairsentience, um, really keep track of that because it's really gonna set the tone for your entire year and give you hints about your future as well. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Capricorn. So for you Capricorn, it is your season and uniquely enough during January, we're gonna have five planets in Capricorn. So this is like the ultimate cap season. And so for you, obviously as a cap rising, if you're watching this, you're gonna have five planets in your first house. So specifically what's gonna happen for you in January is that you're really gonna be feeling these first house themes. What is first house all about? Um, it's all about identity, self, um, how we approach the world, right? So like I mentioned, throughout all 2020 for Capricorn specifically, you're gonna be really approaching life with a very optimistic outlook. Um, and I see this being really magnified in January. And in January, I really see you being recognized for who you truly are. Um, I see you being recognized for your accomplishments. I see you being recognized um, just for all the hard work you put in. Um, I think I mentioned this in my previous predictions video, but um, Capricorns may have been feeling a little bit stagnant in life recently, but in January, it's like nothing can stop you. You are on this fast track to achieving everything you want. And it's so funny because as I'm talking, I feel like I keep hearing like showtime, like it's showtime for Capricorns. Um, it's a month where you're really on display. You're really approaching life in a very confident way and people recognize that. And also I will say this is a very significant month for Capricorns because um, we're having the Pluto and Saturn conjunction and that's happening in your first house. So you're going to be feeling that 
energy so, so much in January. And Pluto conjunction Saturn is one of those things. I think it happens only once in a few hundred years or something. It's a very significant astrological event. And for you, I feel like that manifests as you changing like your appearance somehow. You're going to have like some huge revelation as it pertains to your identity. Um, it's almost like right now you're one person, but by the end of January, you're going to be totally different, um, maybe physically. Um, but either way, I think it's mostly how you see the world, like your perspective is just going to change. Um, I see you guys having a very significant epiphany where it's like you realize something that changes your whole life. And this epiphany that you might have or this like tower moment you might have in January really sets the, it's almost like a catalyst for your entire year. So your entire life is gonna change in 2020. And I really feel like there's like a catalyst that happens in January, whether it be an epiphany, a tower moment, um, some huge shift is gonna happen for you. And I feel like it's mostly positive. And it's almost like in January after this epiphany happens, it's like, you have like a whole new set of glasses like you see it's sort of like a viewfinder when you switch the like lens and you see a whole different perspective you never saw before so yeah overall there's going to be some revolutionary change that happens to you um or something you do that causes some change or some revolutionary change pertaining to your perception on life or your identity, how you view yourself, how you view the world. Either way, there's a big shift happening for you um, that will change you for the better. Um, and you're really just tackling life in January. You're getting things done, you're accomplishing your goals, you're being recognized, you're being ambitious. There's this very powerful energy happening for Capricorns in January. And honestly, it's your world in January. We just live in it. <laughs> it's Capricorns world in January. And like I said, for you Capricorns in January, it is showtime. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Sagittarius. So for you Sagittarius, in January, it's going to be Cap season. And we're actually going to have five whole planets in Capricorn. So the Capricorn energy is going to be very magnified, but specifically for you, all of those planets are going to be in your second house. Therefore, January is going to be very second house themed for you. And what is the second house all about? It's all about our self-worth, what we value. It's about finance, money. Um, it's all about a sense of stability as well. So this is a month for you where you are very focused on your values. You're focused on your finances. Um, maybe you're focused on money. And I think I mentioned in your 2020 predictions, um, second house is also going to be magnified over the course of the year for you. But especially in January, you are really focused on those second house aspects. And honestly, I see for you, Sagittarius, you just have this boost in self-esteem. Like you just have this very proud sense of who you are, this very grounded sense of who you are. You know your values, you know what you want out of life, and you're going after it with a lot of confidence. And especially with your Mars in the first house in January, you're going to be so ambitious. You're just going to be accomplishing your goals and especially like your financial goals. Um, I really see for you, like money is going to be really highlighted for you in 2020. And in January, I feel like it's a good time to kind of manifest those financial goals that you want or if you haven't already or if you have already, make sure you're sticking to those goals. I feel like it's an energy of you just really sticking to your goals no matter what and you're going to achieve them in January or in 2020. And then something really significant happening for you is that um, we're going to have the Pluto and Saturn conjunction and that's happening in your second house. And if you guys didn't know already, the Pluto and Saturn conjunction is like one of the most like major events in astrology and it only happens a few, I think every few thousand years or something like that. And so to have these two powerful planets conjuncting each other in your second house, it really manifests to me as like a really huge change in finance for you. And whether that be good or bad, you're just gonna have a very huge shift, like almost like unexpected shift of finances. Um, I see almost like some of you guys are going to have an unexpected gain of finances, maybe a whole unexpected way of earning finances. I think that's the thing for most of you guys where it's like maybe you've been earning money in a certain way or you have kind of always earn money the same way and maybe it's not working or growing as much as you want. But in January, you're going to have this huge shift in perspective in January where it's like, okay, here's a way to earn money. Here's a way to earn money. You're just going to be thinking of so many revenue streams. I see you having so many streams of income um, over the course of 2020. But in January, you're just going to have those like ideas flowing to you. Um, it's almost like you have too many ideas to think of or too many money making ideas that 
um, will do well for you and you're just gonna be thinking of so many of them and also I feel like this energy is very linked to your self-worth as well um, you're gonna be realizing what you deserve and also I see for a lot of Sagittarius where it's like if you've been earning money in one way let's say you've just been earning money from one stream of income and that's your job um, and obviously maybe it's not growing enough for you I feel like there's gonna be this moment in January where it's like, okay, I'm worth way more than this. I'm out, I'm gonna go make money with these like money-making ideas I just thought of. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna really realize your worth, realize your price, you're gonna set your price and live your life. <laughs> so yeah, I think the advice for January would just to be write down those money-making ideas, manifest a money-making idea. I feel like you guys are just gonna have so many ideas like creative ideas and and honestly i feel like you're not going to be afraid to act on them and if you do get an idea make sure you do act on it um because it's going to be very prosperous for you and in january your financial destiny is really changing for the better okay so let's talk about the month of january for scorpio so scorpio of course january is cap season and uniquely enough in january we're gonna have five whole planets in the sign of Capricorn. Specifically for you as a Scorpio rising, um, these five planets are all gonna be in your third house, since your third house is Capricorn. So what this means is that in January, it's gonna be a very third house themed month for you. So what is third house exactly? Third house is all about communication, short distance travel, and it also represents our immediate family or people that surround us on a daily basis, like our peers, coworkers, um, brothers, sisters cousins people like that so specifically for you Scorpio what I see happening in January is that it is a very busy month for you I see a lot of communication happening for you because I mean this is a third house themed month for you I see you guys gaining and processing a lot of new information um, this is a month for you where it's like you like you get a lot of downloads you get a lot of like informational downloads um, and I feel like you're just learning so many different things um, especially things that are spiritual based like spirituality based things I feel like you're gonna be learning a lot as it pertains to your own spiritual journey and maybe you're even communicative about these things maybe you're having discussions about spirituality maybe you're discussing it with um, people you know like I said brothers sisters cousins co-workers um, you're kind of being very immersed in kind of like this spiritual aspect of life and you're very communicative about it as well with other people and this could also be a time where you are traveling very randomly I do kind of see maybe like unexpected travel unexpected trips um it might be short distance but it could be long distance as well but I do see more so like short distance trips um, where it's like you spontaneously just take a trip somewhere or drive somewhere and you drive somewhere or go somewhere almost on a whim like I said there's this very spiritual energy spiritual theme for you so maybe it's like you get like an intuitive message or like you feel called to do something or called to go somewhere and you just have to go because it's almost like you're gonna feel divinely guided to go wherever it is because you know what's gonna fulfill you on that spiritual mission spiritual journey you're on and then also one of the major things happening in January is the Pluto Saturn conjunction and if you guys didn't know already that's one of the most like significant events in astrology um, it happens only like a few thousand years and it's basically the two planets of Pluto and Saturn, two of the most powerful planets in astrology coming together. And so what this represents for you specifically is a huge shift in consciousness. Um, I do see you, like I said, there's this very spiritual theme for you where it's like you get these psychic downloads, these intuitive downloads. Um, you feel called to go somewhere, do something. Um, and it's almost very beneficial for you to almost listen to your instinct, listen to your intuition, um, and not let your logic overpower you too much. Honestly, I feel like this Pluto-Saturn conjunction might manifest for you as like a maybe epiphany or some sort of message that comes to you, whether it be intuitive through someone else. Um, sometimes we get messages that are so important through a stranger, through um, our friend. Um, and so I feel like you're gonna have one of those interactions or moments in January where you get an important message that really changes your life somehow, um, changes your spiritual destiny somehow. Um, it's gonna be very major, very significant and change your life in some way. So I guess the advice with all of this would to be really follow that instinct, follow um, that intuition. If you feel like, oh my gosh, I have to drive to this place and do this thing or go here, um, I feel like 
it's like you're supposed to do it. It's like you're destined to do it if you feel really called to do something that involves short distance travel. And then also communication is just gonna be very streamlined for you. It's gonna be very clear, open. Um, I almost imagine you having a very clear like connection to the divine so like that's why i said you could be having like psychic downloads um, but also as well in real life with other people i feel like your communication about spirituality is going to be magnified so um I, I see you really having those conversations with people and like i said you might get an important message about your spiritual journey from someone um and it's kind of like unexpected or it's not planned um someone just says something and then your mind just clicks and then you do something and um, or go somewhere and it all kind of ropes around <laughs> into your spiritual journey somehow. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Libra. Okay, so for you Libra, in January, of course, it is Cap season. And what's interesting is that we're gonna have five planets in the sign of Capricorn. So specifically for you as a Libra rising, you're gonna have all five of these planets in your fourth house since your fourth house is Capricorn. And so January is gonna be a very fourth house themed month for you so what is the fourth house of course we all know it's about family home foundations security it also represents our mother or feminine figures in our family so for you in january i see you being very focused on family um or just focused on strengthening those connections with your family um i also see you kind of being focused on security as well and maybe from like a financial sense or just sort of like a logistic sense. Um, I see you being very focused on kind of preserving security for yourself, preserving some sort of foundation for yourself. And something really significant happening in January is Pluto is gonna conjunct Saturn. And if you guys didn't know, this is a really significant event in astrology. And it happens like once like every thousand years, I think. And basically we have Pluto and Saturn, which are like the two most like powerful planets in astrology, coming together and really shaking things up a bit in our birth charts and in our lives. And so for you, that big shift change or shake up is happening in your fourth house. And so you guys can expect sort of like a big change or shake up as it pertains to family. Now this might manifest as having some big shift or shake up as it pertains to your uh, maybe grandmother or mother or uh, maybe your relationship with those people or literally there might just be some huge shift as it pertains to your home maybe you move your homes um, maybe you get a new apartment um, anything like that there's going to be a huge shift as it pertains to family um, and maybe one of your family members as well and also I feel like in January overall it's going to be a very nostalgic month for you maybe you're really focused on the past you're reflecting on past times and I feel like in January you're focusing on the past but kind of reflecting on why it didn't work like kind of analyzing the past to see what worked for you what didn't work for you and then kind of trying to manifest a new life based on your past mistakes and honestly, I see you really focusing on your roots as well, focused on where you come from, like in a metaphorical sense. I see you doing a lot of like emotional, like digging in January, if that makes sense. I see you really going deep within your own intuition, deep within your own family line. Um, you're really just shining light on the patterns of your family or shedding light on the patterns of your life as it's happened so far. I almost feel like once you get a good idea of these patterns, that's when you make your new plan. You make your new destiny based on what you've kind of learned from the past. And I do see this really metaphorical shift happening for you, especially as it pertains to your emotions, your intuition, and sort of like your spiritual being. And then like I said, with the Pluto and Saturn conjunction, I feel like that might literally manifest as you moving, um, your family moving, some big shift or shape up, shake up happening in your home life, family life, with your mom, with your grandma, anything like that. There's gonna be some huge shift as it pertains to family um, and your past and your lineage um, that's gonna change it's really gonna change your entire trajectory in life okay so let's talk about the month of January for Virgo okay so for you Virgo of course January is cap season and interestingly enough we're gonna have five planets in the sign of Capricorn in January. And so for you specifically, you're going to have all five of these planets in your fifth house. So basically, January is going to be a very fifth house themed month for you. And what exactly is the fifth house? The fifth house is all about creativity, um, self-expression, entertainment, indulgence, 
dating, romance, um, and it's really about this sense of fun and lightheartedness. So needless to say, I feel like January is going to be a very fun month for you. Um, this is a month where it's like you're really investing your time in your creative self-expression, investing your time in your hobbies. Um, I feel like it's a time where it's like you're really indulging in the finer things in life, but you're not apologetic about it. You're just very much owning the fact that you deserve to have fun, that you deserve to indulge, that you deserve to splurge. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I feel like your dating life is gonna be really popping in January, just because you also have Venus in your seventh house too in January. So really you have beneficial energy in both your fifth house and seventh house, which are both related to dating and partnership. So this is a time where you are dating. If you're in a relationship, maybe you're just really focused on that relationship. Maybe you're really focused on the funner aspects of the relationship. Um, overall, I just see you in January being focused on the funner aspects of life. And I feel like that's so significant for Virgos because sometimes you guys can be so stuck to your routine, so stuck to um, kind of stressing yourself out a bit and always using your rational mind, using your logic, things like that. Um, you're used to being very logical, rational, um, routine oriented, right? But in January, I sense you kind of let loose a little bit more. Um, maybe you're going to more parties or socializing. It doesn't have to be super drastic, but I do sense you just indulging more and just being really unapologetic about it. Honestly, I feel this very happy vibe for Virgos in January. Like I see you being so much more upbeat than normal. People recognize your good mood. Um, you're just overall very happy in January. And like I said, this is really significant for Virgos because sometimes you can get so um, stressed out with your routines you can just go in this hamster wheel of like logic and rationality but the fifth house isn't really about that and I definitely feel like that's a break you need um, and it's coming to you in January and then also a major event that's going to be happening in January is Pluto is going to conjunct Saturn so basically this is like one of the most important astrological events it happens like once every like a few hundred years I think uh, but basically it's two of the most powerful planets coming together to create a huge shift a huge shakeup or a huge change so specifically you'll be feeling that huge powerful energy shift in your fifth house and so specifically how this might manifest for you is that I really see a shakeup or change happening with your self-confidence and really I see a huge change in how you express yourself to the world um, how you express yourself creatively and also it's a time where you're really not afraid to reveal your talents. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but fifth house also represents talents, especially our creative talents, our creative hobbies, what we invest our time in, in a creative sense. And so in January, I kind of sense like you're going to realize what your true hobbies really are, what your true talents really are, and you're really going to be not afraid to express that to others. You're going to gain like this huge sense of self-confidence in January due to this huge planetary shift that's going to happen. And really, I see Virgos in January almost being like, okay, this is my creative talent, this is my hobby, this is my passion, I'm actually gonna, you know, put structure on this, I'm actually gonna monetize this. Um, I did mention this in your 2020 predictions that you are kind of monetizing your hobbies, and in January, you're gonna really start that trend for yourself. And honestly, with this huge planetary shift, I feel like you're feeling the benefit of it, where it's like, you are going in one direction and you're not turning back. Um, so let's say you monetize one of your hobbies, or let's say you start an Etsy shop, or something like that or a website and you're really going after that dream that goal with conviction you are pursuing your creative hobbies your creative talents with conviction it's not a daydream anymore it's not just some fantasy anymore you actually are putting the structure the infrastructure behind it to make it a reality for yourself so really in January I see you setting the blueprint at least to achieve your goals um, and you're doing it with such self-confidence you're doing it with so much conviction um, and that's how it has to be if you want to achieve things in life, right? So overall for you, Virgo, I definitely sense a huge personality change for you. I see a huge boost and shift in your self-confidence. Um, I see you, you know, 
chasing after your goals, your creative pursuits with conviction, with confidence. Um, I also see you socializing, dating, um, maybe getting into a relationship if you want, um, or just flirting, having fun with your life. I see you having a lot of fun in January and not taking things so seriously, not taking yourself so seriously. And overall, there's this focus on socializing, creativity, um, partnership, self-confidence, fun, and indulgence for you in January. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Leo. Okay, so for you, Leo, in January, of course, it is Capricorn season. And during this month, we're gonna have five whole planets in the sign of Capricorn. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of Capricorn energy present. Um, and specifically for you, you're gonna have all five of these planets in your sixth house, since your sixth house is in Capricorn. And so in January, you might have a very sixth house themed month. So what is the sixth house all about? It's about service, it's about routine, diet, health, um, and it's also about work as well. And overall, the sixth house is kind of like what we do on a regular basis. And so for you in January, I see you really being focused on your routines. Um, this is definitely like kind of like a workaholic month for you, but I don't see it being like a workaholic month in sort of like a stressful way. I mean, it might be stressful for you, but, but I feel like it's more of you structuring your life more, maybe changing certain habits that you have, initiating new habits. Um, I definitely see you working out more or paying more attention to your diet um, being healthier starting a new diet starting a new workout regimen honestly I see you in January kind of perfecting your habits if that makes sense I kind of feel like this overall theme of perfectionism in January for you and depending on what you are perfecting in your life maybe it has to do with work uh, maybe it has to do with your diet your routine anything like that you're really trying to perfect it um, and really you are thoroughly changing your habit or thoroughly thinking about how your habits contribute to a healthy lifestyle for yourself and I also see you being very focused on your well-being in January so like I said that happens through diet that happens through health maybe it's even like your mental health that you're focusing on in January either way you're really focused on your well-being being healthy mentally spiritually and physically and then of course a really huge event happening in astrology in January is is the Pluto and Saturn conjunction so this conjunction is really significant it happens like once every like hundred years a few hundred years or something like that that. And obviously it's two of the most powerful planets in astrology, Pluto and Saturn, coming together to create some huge change, some huge shift. It's really going to shake things up a bit. And for you, that huge change or shift is happening in your sixth house. So for Leo, specifically what I see happening for you and how things might manifest for you is that you are shifting some daily routine that you have. And like I said, this is a really monumental shift or change and really extreme circumstance. So you might really change one of your habits extremely. So maybe you like do something extreme where you like go vegan or you go plant-based or you change your diet completely, you change your work workout routine completely. Something is really going to change as it pertains to health and how you take care of yourself. Or something that might happen too is like you might really just have an epiphany or a revelation about some habit that you have that maybe doesn't serve you very well and you just might be like okay I'm getting rid of this quitting cold turkey once and for all. Um, you're really dedicated to perfecting your well-being in January. And specifically with this Pluto-Saturn conjunction, I really see you cutting something out of your life that doesn't serve you at all. I see you changing a habit completely um, and just having this complete 180 of how you operate on a daily basis. And honestly, I see that for Leo. Like, I see you getting really real with yourself. I see you being very honest with yourself about the actions that you do every day that do or don't serve you. I almost see you sort of like looking in the mirror and saying like you need to get it together or um, change some habit. I really see you having this like almost epiphany moment where you just get your stuff together, get your life together, and you don't turn back. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Cancer. Okay, so Cancer in January, of course, it is Capricorn season. And interestingly enough, during Capricorn season, we're gonna have 
five entire planets in the sign of Capricorn. And so specifically for you as a Cancer rising, that means you're gonna have all five of these planets in your seventh house, since your seventh house is in Capricorn. So in January, it's gonna be a very seventh house themed month for you. So what is seventh house? Most of us already know. It's the house of partnership, the house of close relationships, the house of marriage, and it also deals with legal partnerships, business partnerships, and contracts. So this is a time for you where you are really invested in partnerships, where you are really focused on other people around you. I see you being really communicative in partnerships. I see you kind of not being afraid to initiate certain conversations with people. Initiate maybe some challenging conversations with people. Um, or just in general, I see you initiating a lot of conversation, a lot of ideas. I see you collaborating with other people quite a bit. And of course, this can be romantic but it can also be um, platonically so like in your friendships maybe in your business partnerships um, either way there's a huge theme of collaboration for you and specifically a really huge event that's happening in January is the Pluto and Saturn conjunction and so this conjunction is really significant in astrology it happens once every few hundred years I think um, and it really represents two of the most powerful planets coming together to create a huge shift a huge change and this conjunction is really going to shake things up for everyone but specifically for you um it's really going to shake up something pertaining to the seventh house because this is happening in your seventh house so i really sense you might experience a huge shift or change as it pertains to relationships um this can manifest as a breakup or it can manifest as a new relationship or it can manifest as a huge shift in an existing relationship you already have but honestly i do see more of a positive aspect with this shift i do see some unexpected change happening in relationships for you um this could be a new partner um this could be a new friendship and it's something you never really expected i definitely sense like there's something you've been dreaming about as it pertains to partnerships or relationships or just kind of thinking about quite a bit um and somehow in january it unexpectedly happens for you and then i also see this manifesting as someone changing their perspective on relationships like maybe you have a conversation with someone and it just changes your whole life it just changes your perspective on how you even operate with people and honestly i see cancers in january kind of being like okay i've done things this way my entire life with people i've done things this way in relationships and now it's all changing i feel like the way you approach relationships is just shifting in january and it's almost happening on a mental level first right it's like okay you're deciding you're gonna change and then people around you start changing and then maybe you meet people unexpectedly and they more so align with your new way of thinking so i do see relationships being very magnified very enhanced for you um and i see something drastic happening in a relationship in relationships um to you and for you and that's one thing i will say i feel like the shift that's happening for you is for the greater good and that's kind of why i feel like it's really positive um because it can be perceived as negative but i just feel intuitively that it is a very positive change for you um a change that is happening for the better for the greater good and although it seems scary at first to kind of set a new precedent in relationships maybe you're setting new standards for yourself or who you associate yourself with it feels kind of scary because you're used to clinging on to the past right especially as a cancer you can be very nostalgic sentimental and very rooted in the past but um, i think you're being asked to set a new precedent and almost pave a new way for yourself as it pertains to who you associate with um, so i guess the advice would be to just follow your intuition when it comes to new relationships um, and how you view them how you set standards within them and who you partner up with ultimately and don't be afraid to reinforce your standards your boundaries i know with cancers especially in relationships maybe you struggle with boundaries maybe you struggle with people taking advantage of your kindness things like that and in january that is really changing you're not going to be just a pushover anymore you're really setting those boundaries setting those standards and you're not afraid to do so and because you have so much courage with maintaining those boundaries you are rewarded for that with newer relationships that benefit you way more um, than the ones you've had before okay so let's talk about the month of january for gemini so gemini in january of course it is capricorn season and interestingly enough we're gonna have 
five planets in the sign of Capricorn. So this Capricorn energy is going to be really magnified overall. But for you specifically, you're going to have those five planets I mentioned in your eighth house. So basically, you're going to have a very eighth house themed month. And what is the eighth house all about? It's all about transformation, um, psychology, subconscious thoughts, um, secrets as well. And it's also really about this sense of unexpected circumstances. And honestly, I feel for Gemini, this is gonna be such a significant month for you because honestly, you are who you are now, right? But by the end of January, I feel like you're gonna be an entirely different person. I know for you, Gemini, you already have a very changeable personality. You're used to being able to adapt to certain circumstances, but I feel like the transformation that's happening is transformation of your soul, transformation of who you truly are. It's almost like you're not just transforming your personality. I feel like you probably can do that easily on a regular basis. Um, it's like you're transforming um, something deeper within yourself. And really specifically, I feel like you're transforming your subconscious thoughts. And I feel like you're kind of transforming your inner dialogue. It's almost like you're transforming how you think about yourself, how you perceive yourself. And it's so significant because you have the sun in your eighth house in January, right? And I feel like the sun is almost shining a light on those subconscious patterns that don't serve you. Um, maybe you've had certain self-limiting beliefs that you didn't even know were harming you in your daily life, but they are. And in January, you're becoming very self-aware of those subconscious patterns that don't serve you. Um, and maybe changing them for the better and also I see in January for you um, it's really like a month of manifestation like I feel like anything you think anything you write down um, with certain intentions will happen for you almost more quickly more easily and faster than other people and then a really huge event happening in astrology in January is the Pluto Saturn conjunction and basically Pluto and Saturn are two of the most powerful planets in astrology and they only become conjunct every once every like hundred years or so or a few hundred years and so when these two planets come together um, they come together to create some huge change some huge shakeup some huge shift and so and so you're gonna be feeling this shift in your eighth house since it's happening in your eighth house and honestly I feel like this might manifest for you specifically as you really realizing your power there's a huge shift in your life and in your subconscious beliefs where it's like wait, I'm the one in control, I'm the one in power, I'm the one who influences my own life. Um, I feel like you're becoming so self-aware in January and really realizing your true power. And I feel like you're really gonna realize that your true power is spiritual. You've been holding on to false senses of power, like um, external senses of power, like status or labels, things like that. But in January, you're gonna realize, wait, none of that matters because I have my own self-worth. Um, I know what I'm worth, I know my power, and that's more powerful than the external labels we give ourselves or you give yourself. So honestly, I feel like this Pluto-Saturn conjunction is really going to affect you positively, although you might not feel it so positively at first because 8th house is kind of a challenging house energy-wise, um, but I feel like ultimately you're going to really realize your true power and it's almost going to be sort of like an epiphany for you. You're going to realize like, yo, like I'm so powerful, I create my own life. And then like I said, you might start manifesting, creating your dream life, literally thinking things into existence, writing things into existence. You're literally going to be speaking things into existence because you're going to be so powerful in January on a spiritual energetic level. And also this, and also with the Pluto Saturn conjunction, I will add that secrets might be revealed as well. And maybe from people around you, there's going to be some huge secret revealed and it might be relevant to your self-worth, your power, your self-consciousness, um, your subconsciousness. Either way, some secret's going to be revealed that will change your life. And really in January, you're going to be realizing the power you have as an individual and your spiritual power as a person. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Taurus. So Taurus, of course, in January, it is Capricorn season. Um, and interestingly enough, we're going to have five planets in the sign of Capricorn in January. And so, of course, we're going to have this very emphasized Capricorn energy. And specifically for you, those five planets I mentioned are going to be in your ninth house. And so you're going to have a very ninth house 
themed month and of course the ninth house represents travel expansion knowledge as well as spirituality and faith so what i see manifesting for you in january is that you're gonna be traveling literally i definitely see travel for you taurus um and it's something where it's like unexpected like you might travel very unexpectedly like you might not even have plans at this moment but you might get a random call from someone um you might book a trip last minute um, either way you might travel very last minute or travel in general if you've already planned it and for you Taurus, I feel like this is a time where you're really focused on expansion. Um, you're really seeing the bigger picture of life. This is a month in January where you're so optimistic and you believe in your goals with so much conviction, so much faith. Um, this is really a month for you to dream big. Like the energy that's happening here is like, you're not playing small anymore. You're playing big, you're playing to win. Um, you're really going for that top spot and achieving what you truly desire in January. And I will say the ninth house is very beneficial energy overall. It is a very fortunate house in astrology. So this is a month for you to like make a wish, manifest what you want, and it will most likely come true. And this is a month also where I feel like you feel super unstoppable. Like I mentioned, you're not playing small anymore. You're playing to win. Um, you're seeing the bigger picture of life. Um, you're going in new directions you never thought you would go in. And the new directions you're going in are very blessed. They are very divinely guided. Um, it's not like you're just doing things on a whim and maybe it doesn't work out or maybe it does. It's like you're going somewhere with conviction and um, boldness and decisiveness and it's gonna pay off for you. And definitely I'm thinking of the phrase, sky is the limit. I definitely feel like sky is the limit in January for you. And then also a very major event happening in January is the Saturn-Pluto conjunction. So this is like a major event in astrology. It only happens every, I think, a few hundred years or so. Um, and it's when two of the most powerful planets of Pluto and Saturn come together to create some huge shakeup, some huge change, um, some huge shift. And for you specifically, this change or shakeup or shift is happening in your ninth house. So that's why I mentioned you might have a very last minute travel trip. You might have some travel experience that really changes your life for the better. Um, either way, I feel like you're going to have some huge shift in your perspective on life. And specifically, this might have to do with your faith, your goals, how you view the world in general, what your philosophy is in life. I feel like you're going to have an almost like epiphany moment where it's like, wow, I never realized that before, or wow, I never really thought that way before. I feel like your whole thinking pattern about how life works and how life works for you is gonna change in January. And it's almost like this Pluto-Saturn conjunction is gonna usher in a whole new paradigm of thinking for you, a whole new paradigm of living for you. I feel like right now you're living a certain way, you're thinking a certain way, you see things in a certain way, right? But by the end of January, that's all gonna change very significantly and very unexpectedly for you. And especially right now, you have Uranus in your first house. So Uranus is gonna be trining Jupiter in the ninth house. So I feel like this first house, ninth house energy that's very activated for you um, is gonna manifest as you changing, like I said, your approach towards life, your perspective towards life, and changing yourself overall. So overall, the advice would be to just really manifest what you want go after things with conviction. I feel like you're gonna be doing that anyway, but that's like the advice overall. Honestly, I feel like we should all watch out for Taurus because I feel like you're just going after the gold. You're going for it, sky is the limit, um, no one can get in your way, you're untouchable, and January is gonna be a very prosperous month for you where you do realize that. Okay, so let's talk about the month of January for Aries. So Aries, of course, January is Capricorn season, and interestingly enough, we're gonna have five planets in the sign of Capricorn in January. So it's gonna be a very Capricorn emphasized month for everyone, but specifically those five planets I just mentioned are gonna be in your 10th house. Since your 10th house slash your midheaven is in Capricorn. So it looks like you're gonna have a very 10th house 
theme month ahead of you. And what exactly is the 10th house? The 10th house represents status, career, legacy. It also represents professional image or reputation. So overall for you, I see this manifesting as you having a very career driven month. You're very focused on your career, your goals. I also specifically see you being really recognized in your career, recognized publicly for what you do or something you do is publicly recognized by those around you. And honestly, specifically for some Aries, I do see you getting an award of some kind or some kind of reward or something like that where you are publicly admired or appreciated through an award, reward, or just pure admiration from people. Overall though, I do see you being really focused on your image, your public image. Maybe this is a time where you're really working on your professional connections. Um, you're really working on status maybe. Maybe this is a time where you're going to networking events, where you're trying to, I don't know, somehow increase your status at work or elevate your status in whatever market you're in or company you're in. Um, maybe you're networking with bosses or people older than you or people in seniority positions are helping you out in some way and you and it is a time where you might experience like I said help from people in high places and then also a major event happening in astrology in January is the Pluto Saturn conjunction and this conjunction is really significant it happens every few hundred years it's really rare and every time it happens it really represents a shift of some kind some sort of huge shakeup and ultimately some huge transformation will take place during this time. So specifically for you, this conjunction is happening in your 10th house. So I really see this manifesting as you having some huge shift in career. Um, I feel like you have a huge shift in direction of your life overall. So this might manifest as maybe you getting a new job, quitting your job, getting fired, um, starting a new job. And also, like I mentioned in your 2020 predictions, um, 2020 is going to be like a very entrepreneurial year for you where you might even start your own business and honestly I feel like in January that's going to be like the catalyst for you starting your own business so maybe the catalyst for you specifically is losing your job or quitting your job um, to start your own company um, I do see that happening as soon as January for some Aries but either way, there's going to be some huge shift as it pertains to career, as it pertains to your reputation. Maybe you experience a huge transformation or shift in your status, how you're viewed by people. Um, like I said, there could be some someone in seniority or someone that has power that helps you in some way, that pulls you up the ladder in some way. And honestly, for some areas, I see you like walking out of your job. I, I know that's like kind of drastic, but I see you being like, you know what, I'm done with this. I know my worth. I know what I want to do in life. I know my direction and I'm going to go pursue it with conviction. So overall, I do see you pursuing your goals with conviction and that might happen from quitting your job or that might happen quitting some sort of commitment that you have that you feel like feel like is weighing you down. Um, I feel like you're really becoming clear or having clarity about your goals, your direction, and you're pursuing them. And it's almost like you're realizing like, I don't have time to waste. Like, I don't have time for this. I'm gonna go do me. I feel like Aries are naturally kind of like that, but in January, you're just gonna be like, you know what, I'm out. I know what I'm worth. Um, I'm gonna go do what I want, be independent, be bold. Um, and take what's mine. And I do see some Aries taking a huge risk in January as it pertains to career, but I'm telling you right now that it's going to pay off. Like whatever risk you take, um, as long as it's logical and makes somewhat sense, I feel like th I feel like there's some risk you're gonna take that's really gonna pay off for you um, financially, status-wise, and just improve your overall quality of life. So make sure you watch the 2020 predictions video if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below if you're an Aries rising sun or moon watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video.